Hey guys, it's May May, and recently I was asking Tamitha what she thought I needed to film for you guys because she reads your comments all the time, and I thought she might have some really good insight. And she said, as many as, and I said, no, and she said, <laughs> then mystery cards. And then we got to thinking about it, or at least I got to think about it. I don't think I've ever filmed a mystery cards for you guys in a standalone video. I think I only did it in a live show one time. So today we mystery card. And let me show you what that means. I think that the mente papers are absolutely gorgeous. And I have found that if you cut these out without even paying attention, you can make some beautiful greeting cards. So that's what we're going to do. I'm also going to use this stamp set today that is called Heaven Scent. I'm doing this to make sure you can see it because it has a glare on it. I think it'll be pretty. So let's get started. Okay. What is a mystery card? So for fun one day, I went, y'all know what I think I can do? I think I can cut these down into the size I need for A2 card mats, like the first mat, and get some pretty cards. And what I want to do is do it without looking. So here's what I did. I cut away this branding strip, okay? And then I turned it over where I couldn't see what I was doing because I don't want to even think about it. It's a mystery, okay? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut a five and a quarter piece because our first mat of an A2 card is five and a quarter. You know, that's the height. Okay, so I'm gonna put this, this piece aside and then I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna cut five and a quarter. Now I am gonna check one thing. Yes, so on this one I'm gonna flip it because my images are kind of to the top. And so I'm gonna cut here another strip. So five and a quarter for this piece. Now, without looking, <laughs> this strip we can use for something else. Without looking, I'm gonna take this guy and I'm gonna cut him down to four. Cause four by five and a quarter and I'm not gonna look. And from this sheet, we're gonna make six mystery cards. It's a lot of fun. Every card is not going to be absolutely what you're looking for. Actually, I think we can only, well, we can get six. This one will just be a little smaller because no, it's four also. What was I thinking? Hmm, brain lapse. Okay, does not matter which way I'm going, four inches. For some reason, I was thinking I was cutting four and a quarter. All right, so that one. So we'll get six cards and listen, the fun is not knowing what they're gonna turn out like. Trust me on this, that is the fun. All right, so here's this one, and now we're going to make card bases. So I have a bunch of pre-made card bases in my stash. These are not pre-made, but pre-cut. So what these are are 8.5 by 11 pieces of cardstock that have been cut in half at 4 and a quarter, and I'm going to score them at 5.5, and, and this gets me an A2 card base. So, I want to show you something, too. If you're struggling with getting good score marks, maybe your paper's still cracking, flip it over and score it on both sides, and you'll find you'll get a beautiful fold, and then it kind of takes the mystery out of which side do I fold, etc. And also, keep it in your um, scoreboard and use that little brace to help you crease. You'll find you get a better fold that way and you don't end up with a funny edge down here. It'll be even. So I'm gonna run through, score all six of these, and these will be our card bases. Now I've also decided that I'm gonna use the perfume bottles from our stamp set that's called Heaven Scent. We'll have all of the products and stuff I'm using linked in the description below. I think these will be pretty with the with that kind of vanity looking, um, kind of picture that was on, that we used to cut up, you know, the mente paper. I just think it'd be pretty because it was kind of like a makeup table and like high heel shoes and pearls. And I just think this set will go well. And again, I'm doing it mystery style. So I'm not going to assemble anything until I've got all my pieces together. Then I'll figure out how I'm going to do it. But what I'm doing here is I'm stamping several of or six of the perfume bottles because I'll use them in different. Uh, I'll use one for each card. And then I'm going to color them, and then I'm going to let my scan and cut cut them out. Now, let me say this to you. If you don't have a scan and cut, you can fussy cut. These are not hard to, cut, to fussy cut. I would probably cut away these little lines on the outside, but you can fussy cut. That's not a problem. Or you can use the free SVG that we give you guys and cut it out with your Cricut machine or on your Joy or on whatever electronic cutting machine you have that uses SVGs, actually. So there's my perfume bottles, and now I'm going to color them. You notice that I stamped them in Memento because it's a dye ink because I'm going to use my alcohol markers to color them. I want to show you these guys. This is what I'm storing my alcohol markers in lately. I get these from Amazon, and we'll link the um, Amazon link for you guys below. But look how cool it is to put them by family. I love how this works. So I And they stack, which is really cool, so I can put them on my desk and just stack them and grab out what I need for coloring. And it makes life easy. Now, I feel like this is going to be a lot of pinks and things for this. So, I do want to look at one piece, and you know what I'm going to do? 
because I still want it to be a mystery, I'm going to look at this guy as my inspiration for colors because I want to make sure I'm kind of matching my cards, right? So this FS3 is really pretty. Let's see. That's too, too bright. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to run through and find some colors that I think look really nice with this, and those are the ones I'll use. Ooh, that one's great. Okay, so these are the colors I like, the ones that I didn't cross out, and I'll show you which ones they are. So if Tamitha wants to put these in the description for you guys, these are the ones I'm using. I'll turn around where she can see them. There we go. So I think I'm going to let one of my perfume bottles have kind of some pink perfume in it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, let me see which one this is. I think it's, no, it's this one. So whatever color this is, it's going to be the perfume. So I'm going to do like a little line here. Kind of messy, like this is where the perfume stops, like this bottle's been partially used. And then I'm going to color as if that were the perfume in this bottle. I'm not going to be doing any shading or anything. That's one bonus of these images. They kind of do it for you with all the little lines and the way they're drawn. But I am just going to color that in so there's perfume in that bottle. Then on the bow, I'm going to use that pink, the lighter pink. And rather than have you sit and watch me color, I'm going to, uh, we're going to just put some music on and kind of fast forward this and I'm going to color these and you'll see what they look like when we get back. So I said I was gonna let my skin and cut, cut these out, but I gotta be honest, I think I can do it quicker than even going over there and turning it on. <laughs> and I've got a few minutes, so I'm gonna put this scrap back in bin to use for later. And I'm gonna cut these guys out. All right, I've got my cutouts, I've got my mystery mats, and I've got my card bases. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to bring over a card base, a mystery mat, and a perfume bottle. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna flip this guy over and look how cute that is. It's got the little purse and the flowers and the lips. It's so cute and look how perfect this is right here. And all we need is a sentiment. So let me pick that out. You guys, are you kidding me? This is perfect right there. I love mystery cards. They're so fun. It doesn't always work out like this. You'll see, we've got six to make but it's super fun when it does. And you end up with six cards and you don't even, you didn't even have to plan them out. There was no work, no planning. The better the paper, the better it works, you know? So Mente is really good for this. Let me stamp that right there. Look how perfect that is. I'm gonna pop this up on some foam. And we'll put it like it's sitting on that little spot there. Look how cute that is. I might should have inked that. Let me see if I can get that off. Because I meant to do it and forgot to, I'm going to run around and just ink the edges of this really quick. I think it'll just help it pop off that white background a little better. But how fun is this, y'all? How fun. Like, no thought process, no nothing. Just make them and go. Look how cute that is. And then I'm going to glue this down to my card base. 
and I'm just gluing it directly down. Y'all know I kind of have this unwritten rule for myself that I like to have only one piece popped up. So I've got the perfume bottle popped up. Come on guys, so easy. On the inside, I'm gonna come back at the end and stamp a sentiment inside them, but let's keep going. So here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna fast forward with a little music and let you watch me make mystery cards. Now I'm going to run through and I'm using the sentiment that says your friendship is a sweet fragrance in my life. And I think this will be cute on the inside of every one of these. See how cute? I'm just going to run through and do that. Y'all, we've made six cards in no time. I mean, and no planning. It's, you know, you can be so intimidated by card making, but when you'll let the paper do the work or when you'll just take all the pressure out 
And like the mystery card, all you need is a great piece of paper, honestly. And I know you thought this is not going to work out. These are not going to work out, but they do work out. Now, I've done this, I think, with three sheets of mente paper, and everyone has worked out so beautifully. But that doesn't mean everyone will. So here's the thing. Sometimes you're going to get maybe a cut that you don't really like the image that you get. So flip that page over and use the back side as a background. It's still not wasted. Even on these, I could have used that kind of, it's like a leather with some kind of rivets in it. It would have been beautiful as a background and I wouldn't have wasted it. But every one of these worked out, which I think was really cool. You do want to pay attention to the orientation of your paper. You notice how I turned it on that second cut to make that mystery cut. That way I made sure that all my images stayed up or stayed in my section and I didn't end up with like cutting off a bunch of big images. It's really, really, I mean, that's just, I did that on that page. You'd be surprised what happened if you just cut it down and see. All right, let's look at them. Ready? One. Oh, that is the, no, that's not the first one we did, but isn't that cute? Let's go to the next one. Closing that one up for you to see. Two. I need to re-bone fold these since I've opened them up, but we'll just lay them there. Three. That's the first one we did. Four. Five. Get that one to close. And six. Come on, you guys. From one piece of cardstock, one mente paper, we made six mystery cards. Are you kidding me? Come on. You can be mind blown because it blows my mind too. I just can't get over how individual each of these cards look. And it was one piece of paper. So cool. I wanted to point this out. You remember when I told you that I paid attention to the orientation? I just made sure that I was cutting this so that I got the full image. And the part we cut away was kind of this piece that I really didn't have to have. But I can use this for something else, right? Okay, guys, have you made mystery cards before? Have you ever heard of them before? If not, here's your challenge. Take out a piece of paper and make some mystery cards and then post them to my customer gallery. I want to see them. I want to see your mystery cards. As a matter of fact, why don't we do a giveaway? You make mystery cards with any paper. I don't care. Paper you have in your stash, one sheet of paper, six mystery cards, Post them to my customer gallery, and that is your entry to win a $50 gift card to my store. That's how bad I want you to try it. That's how bad I want you to try it. So enter to win. We'll give that away the end of April. So you have a month. You have a whole month to practice. So make sure you do that. We'll put the information in the description below about that giveaway. I'm sure Tameth is like, oh, thanks. <laughs> we'll get that done as well. Hey, don't forget to subscribe. I do all kinds of videos from paper crafting to Cricut to Brothers Scan and Cut to home decor to our new remodel of our, our store that'll be opening May the 3rd. We're so excited. Um, like this video if you liked it and be sure to share it with your friends. Until next time, bye now.